My first international competition was the Arab Championships last summer. I won two gold, three silver, and a bronze medal. And that's kind of when this whole journey started. Um, I brought a lot of attention to Palestine because of my swimming success. And now, um, fast forward a year, I'm in Paris, flag bearer for my country. And um, honestly, it's the most special thing in the world, especially really what's going on right now. Um, just being able to hold the flag at a time when it's hard to, um, whether people want us to be a country or don't recognize us, or even just to show the pride and the strength that we have being here, really, it means the world to me. Um, my job is not just a swimmer. Um, yes, I love to compete. I love to swim. It's something I am truly passionate about, but it's so much more than that. Um, I am one of the few Palestinians in the world right now that have a voice, and I take every single interview. I um, get to use my voice. I get to spread my story. I'm not here to point fingers. I'm not here to be a politician, but I'm here to spread awareness on what's happening. Yes and no. Um, it's hard in the sense that I can't wrap my head around it because we're people just like everyone else, and we have land just like everyone else. Um, but the amount of love and support that I've had really over the last two months over my entire career has but been uncomparable. I mean, I, I came here and were greeted by the Palestinian community. I even just walking from the dining hall to here, I had three or four people stop me and tell me that Palestine's in their heart. And that just makes me want to do it even more. It makes me want to compete. It makes me want to represent. It makes me feel like I'm doing the right thing here. My family is huge. Um, we were able to get a few family members out at the start of the war, but I have a lot of family there. I, I had many of them pass away. Um, one of my teammates that I was in China with last October, right before the war happened, um, he's stuck there right now. We can't get him out. So it's hard to deal with every single day knowing that I'm here, I get to do what I love. Yes, I'm advocating for them, but they're stuck there and they, there's nowhere for them to go. There's no safe place, no matter what anyone says, there's no safe place in Gaza right now. My Palestinian roots run very, very deep. Um, the first Tarazi was found, um, found his birth certificate in the year 400, and we've owned property in Gaza since 1755. So the Tarazi family has very deep roots there. Um, there is no question of whether I was Palestinian or not because of my last name. Thank <laughs> you.